need to merge multiple PDFs into one directly in SharePoint, or maybe extract specific pages without downloading the file or using extra tools. With SharePoint Premium, managing PDFs in Microsoft 365 is easier than ever. In this video, part of the Ultimate SharePoint Premium Deep Dive series, Drew Matalong takes a deep dive into the merge and extract PDF functionality. Drew, take it away. Hello everyone. My name is Drew Madeling, and I'll be going through part 11 of the Ultimate SharePoint Premium Deep Dive series, where we'll be talking about the PDF merge and, merge and extract functionality as part of SharePoint Premium. If you've been following along, this is part 11 of the, of the Ultimate SharePoint Premium Deep Dive series, where myself, my friends Vlad and Gokin, will be bringing together over 30 deep dive videos covering everything SharePoint Premium, so ensure you follow along to other functionality as part of that comes along with SharePoint Premium. Today, we're going to be talking about PDF, merge, and extract. We'll be talking about how to merge, how to extract, and some of the helpful tips in working with the PDF merge and extract functionality. To get started, let's talk about what PDF merge and extract is. So what you had today, or if you don't have SharePoint Premium, what you get with SharePoint Premium now is two new options when opening up PDFs in the browser. So PDF merge and extract is a browser-based functionality that before, you would have, this is your toolbar up in the top of the file viewer. And on the right, you have, the, what you, once you've enabled SharePoint Premium, you have two new functionalities, the merge and extract options. So one, you have the two little arrows in there, that's your merge option. And the one just to the left of that, where you have like two pieces of paper and the, the white arrow, that's your extract action. Now these do require the SharePoint Premium page you go to be configured. So once you've configured it in your tenant, this will become available to you for everyone in your organization. So we're gonna start with PDF merge. So to merge, what you're gonna do is you're gonna open a PDF in the browser. You're gonna click the merge icon in the toolbar in the file viewer. You're then gonna select the files that you want to merge. So I can grab however many files I would like, and I'm gonna create a new file with all those pages to build a combined PDF. So what does PDF merge look like? So. I'm going to go out to a browser and I'm going to see that I have a collection of files about SharePoint agents. One's a quick start guide, one is a SharePoint one pager. And if I go into each of these, you'll see that this one has a good collection around automation and streamlining my critical business process and what, what I can do in agents, how I can create them, how I can share them. That looks like a good agent file. I also have one in here that's a quick start guide that includes a lot more information around different functionality and here if I zoom in a little bit not too much if I zoom in a little bit less you're going to see I have Copilot lab information how to different use cases for using SharePoint agents now I want to share this information with just one person or multiple people but I don't want to share it in two pdfs so I want to merge this information so I'm going to open up this one page here and I'm going to pick open my toolbar that new merge action that I have once I click merge I then have a new file picker experience where I can, you'll see that that file is, that I've opened is already pre-selected, right? It's pre-selected for the ones I'm trying to merge here. And then I'm gonna say, well, I wanna grab a couple other ones, right? So I could grab multiple, I could grab a couple. I'm just gonna grab this agents one right here. And you'll see over on the right, once I have it selected, I have this little action to show me I'm combining both of these. I'm gonna merge both of these files into one. So I've, I've selected two files to merge. I'm gonna click next. You're gonna see then on the bottom, we now have a, a now a spot to put in a new file name. So let's call this updated SharePoint agents guide. Then click save here. You can see in the bottom, a little icon showing merging pages. And then it'll show me that my PDF is now ready. So I can open that up. If I navigate back, you'll see I have the new PDF uh, created right here called Updated SharePoint Agents Guide, created a few seconds ago. When I open up this file, you'll see it'll have those three pages of uh, the agent files that have all been brought together uh, into a single file itself. Give it a quick refresh here. There we go. You'll see I have three pages now in here, my first two along with that long quick start guide, all brought together into a single file. Awesome, right? So that's how I can actually do a merge for PDFs. Let's talk about extraction. So next on our list, we have PDF extract. 
So let's say we have the scenario where we want to have, we have a file, we want to extract pages from that PDF. So if we follow a very similar process, we're going to open the PDF in the browser. We're going to click the extract icon in the file view experience, and we're going to select the pages that we want to extract. Once I select those, I'm going to create a new file with those pages that I've selected. So let's take a look at PDF extract. So I'm going to go back in my OneDrive and I'm going to see you have a file in here called M365 and SharePoint and Protivity. This is my organization I am working with. And this file is a collection of a bunch of stuff about my organizations, but it's highlighting different functions that I've been working with around SharePoint Advanced Management and SharePoint Migrations. Um, let's say as I go down here, if I look at some of the SharePoint Advanced Management information, these might be information I want to pull out and create my own SharePoint Advanced Management section. So what I can do is I can go up to the top and I can say extract. I say, I want, I want a new PDF. This is a lot of information. It's got migration. It's got SAM in it. It's got some externalization. It's got who I, the company I work with. I want to extract this and just have it be about SAM. So I can, I'm going to grab one thing operativity. Let's grab my header. Let's grab the top file. Then I'm going to grab my SAM PDF slides in here that goes about our SAM deployment process. So you'll see I have nine pages selected of this overall PDF. And I'm going to click up in the top left. I'm going to click extract. Okay. When I click extract, it's going to give me the action, a very similar file picker experience where I can choose where I want to extract this file to. So I can keep this in my My Files demo folder. And I can say this is going to be uh, SharePoint Advanced Management Strategy Deck. So I can enter that name. I can come and click save here. I'm just going to save that to the location that I've done. You'll see it said extracting pages. My PDF is ready. I open it up and I very quickly extracted multiple pages of, it, of that into uh, multiple pages from one PDF into another. So I end up with a single file uh, that has the new set of file, uh, new set of PDF pages that I wanted to extract. Oh, well, that's pretty cool. So. What is there else to know about the PDF merge and extract functionality? So some of the small tips I have for this is that it does, the big one is that it does work in SharePoint and OneDrive. I showed this in OneDrive, same experience in SharePoint. This is working with PDFs inside of Microsoft 365. You are able to navigate when you're working with these files, when you're working with the merge and extract. So you can work within my files to make sure you know that that's OneDrive. When I am selecting multiple files or extracting to a location, my files will be in OneDrive. And I can navigate using that left navigate, using that left rail for other SharePoint sites too. So I does I can actually merge files from multiple SharePoint sites or extract other SharePoint sites using this left rail functionality when I'm doing PDF merge and extract. And as you saw, it will provide a default file name. I recommend that you update that. It does, uh, it could lead to some confusion based on the files that you are creating uh, when it does this. So some quick tips when you're working with PDF Merge and Extract. This was just part 11 of the overall Ultimate SharePoint Premium Deep Dive series. Make sure you look in the, subscribe to this channel. Uh, look in the, play the playlist is deep in the comments. And thank you for myself or Drew, Vlad and Gokin for following along in this series. Thank you so much, Drew, for that amazing explanation. And to everyone watching, I really hope you enjoyed this deep dive, part of the Ultimate SharePoint Premium deep dive series. Be sure to check out the playlist on your screen right now to catch all the released videos. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you're notified as soon as new videos get released. I can't wait to see you in the next one.